Welcome back to our cozy cabin adventure. In our last video, we were getting ready for the winter ahead, making sure we had a hearty stash of firewood to keep the chill at bay. But today, we're in for a fun treat. An unexpected visitor has graced us with his presence at the lake. So grab a warm cup of coffee and join us for part two. After cutting all the firewood, Ollie and I went down to the lake to try and get a trout for dinner. Any luck? Not yet. Is that why we're going so slow? That's how you're paddling? Of course, while we were out there, it had to start raining, but we did not mind because we got an amazing surprise. Oh, that's a river otter. Isn't this river otter just the cutest? Although a little intimidating, if I'm honest, especially when we started getting close. While researching whether or not we should be a little cautious, I found out some amazing lesser known facts about river otters that might surprise you. First, did you know that river otters have been known to playfully juggle stones and pebbles? They actually use them to crack open the shells of their favorite snacks like freshwater clams. And another thing, river otters have some of the densest fur in the animal kingdom with up to a million hairs per square inch. One more little tidbit that I did find out is that they're actually one of the largest carnivorous aquatic animals in fresh water. So you should be a little bit cautious when you're around them. They have been known to attack dogs and even people. Well, once again, no fish.
Okay. Another thing done. I didn't see you. <laughs> Well, that only took 16 years to put the finish trim on that outhouse. <laughs> That's funny. Check the chicken, and I think it's pulling away from the bone perfectly. Another one. Oh my goodness. It, it, oh yeah, it's right away. It's perfect, yeah? Yeah, perfect. It's like Thanksgiving right now. <laughs> All right, let's go ahead and cut this tree down here. It's a it's a beetle kill tree, so We might as well take it down and then I'm going to lay right in here where it's really swampy and see if we can create a little bit of a boardwalk so we don't step in that swamp every single time we get water.
Thanks for joining us on this two-part cabin adventure. We hope you enjoyed our time at the cabin as much as we did. If you enjoyed watching, let us know in the comments below. We love hearing from you. And don't forget to stay safe and warm. Thanks again for tuning in and we'll see you in the next video. Bye.